Levitation has been around since the beginning of human history, and most religious traditions, ancient religious traditions, um, believe in it. My name is Diana Pasolka. I am a professor at the University of North Carolina in Wilmington, and my field is Christian history, but levitation is actually a specialty of mine, and it occurs in almost every religious tradition around the world. There have been Buddhists who levitate. There have been people in the Hindu tradition known to have levitated, and it's absolutely accepted by the Catholic Church. There's a very famous Saint Joseph of Cupertino, who is an Italian priest, he was known to have levitated. And uh, I did go to the Vatican, I looked through his records, and there was a, a case where Joseph was in a church and there were some Italian dignitaries there. And so it was kind of a big deal and Joseph starts to fly up to the ceiling, okay? And so um, the parish priest, you know, says something to one of the other uh, young priests. The young priest grabs uh, Joseph uh, by the cassock and tries to hold on to him, but lo and behold, goes flying up to the top of the church with Joseph. So this is probably one of the funniest of Joseph's stories of flying up in, in you know, the church. Joseph became a saint by a man who was the first enlightenment rationalist pope, Prospero Lambertini, and he was incredibly intelligent and rational. He didn't believe in, in Joseph's levitation at all. And actually he was in the canonization process. He was actually the devil's advocate, but he saw so much evidence and he saw so many people who swore they saw him levitate that he eventually canonized, um, made Joseph a saint.